had some little difficulties and some forgetfulness. I'm here now, and today I'm going to be sketching armadillos. I need to post this link, so that's just going to take me a moment. Hi, Charles, how are you? You're okay. What's new with you? up um not a huge amount i'm going to my sister's in a couple of weeks which is exciting you submitted that application last night was this the which grant was this or or was that the um uh display at, um, what's it, open text? Sorry, um, today's the day that everything decided to give me security checks, so I don't know what happened, but I'm still working on my, oh my goodness, So we've got some people. So today I'm going to be doing some sketching. Um, sorry, setting up lights. Today I'm going to be doing some sketching specifically. I'm trying to figure out a layout for an um, art piece that I'm doing for my sister. Um, so I have a one-year-old nephew. He's adorable and perfect, and I've met him twice because COVID. Um, but my sister just lost her nanny. Um, her nanny, uh, she's, so my sister is a public health nurse. 
um, and she was on a six month contract doing contact tracing um, and hired an architecture student uh, who had been taking care of my nephew while she worked. Um, so her nanny graduated from school and got a job in her field. Uh, sorry. So my sister graduated, or sorry, my sister's nanny graduated from school, got a job in her field, and so my sister is out a nanny, um, and her contract is over, um, but has been extended indefinitely because um, COVID's not over. So um, she needs someone to come take care of my nephew, and so she's having family members rotate in. So I'm going to spend two weeks at my sister's, not this coming week, but the two weeks after. Um, and, uh, sorry. So, yeah, so I'm not sure how that'll affect my live streams while I am there. Hi, Stephen, how are you? Um, uh, sorry, I'm not sure how that'll affect my live streams while I'm there. Um, I might still be able to live stream, but I might have to change the time. I think my brother-in-law finishes his work day early on Friday, so I should still be able to maybe do a Friday stream. Um, although again, like, you know, I could stream from there, might be awkward. I'm, I haven't quite figured out what I'm doing with respect to that, but um, I am making some artwork for my nephew's nursery. Um, and so his name is Arthur and um, they speak Portuguese to him. So uh, in Portuguese it's Arthur and a common nickname for that is Tatu which is a way that um, little kids would often pronounce it. Um, but tatu is also uh, the word for a, an armadillo. Um, so I wanted to um, paint a Brazilian three-banded armadillo. Uh, in Portuguese, that's tatu bola, which is... Um, it's really cute. It's actually, it's ball armadillo because they fold up into a ball. Um, anyway, of course, I don't have physical references for this. I don't have an armadillo running around on my desk. I can't go to zoos, etc. right now because of COVID. Um, so I will be depending on internet reference. Um, and I need to figure out some anatomy and colors for that. So. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Amber. Yes, I had some trouble and I first um, started another stream and then it wasn't rotated properly. So then I had to restart the stream. So I started a bit late um, and I'm a little slow getting started because I just moved some stuff off my desk that I can't share. And yeah, I'm doing some sketching today. Um, so yeah, today we're figuring out how armadillos work. <laughs> That's the plan. Um, just as soon as I drop these links into the appropriate places. Hi, Diane. Ah, it was actually me. I work in a warehouse. This reception is awful where I am right now. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Um, sorry. I just need to copy this link and then I will drop it in various places. Sorry, because I had to restart my stream, I have to go repost the links to places.
anyway, what is are other people working on stuff while I stream? I know that Amanda's at work work, like day job work. Um Sorry, and then I also need to post this other place. go okay so that's that part and then I can just go find myself on here so I can read the chat I'm so sorry guys uh, Okay. Hi, Kelly. How are you feeling today? Hmm. Okay, so armadillos. Let's look up some armadillos. So, first. And we can talk about using references responsibly while I do this. Okay, uh, here we go. And I can go to images and pop these up. So these are the critters that I am painting. But I think I want to do one of the views where they're curled up. Um, so something like this, but I'd like to show his face just a little bit more. This is pretty cute. Um, maybe a three-quarter view? Trying to figure out how all of their body all fits together anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so it'll be something like that guy there. Um... So you can see here, they're actually pretty small little critters, which is nice because it means that my painting, if I'm painting life-size, doesn't have to be enormous. Um, so I'm just going to do a little, little guy here. Um, I mean, not in this book, obviously. This is just for sketching. Uh, yeah, so they coil up real tight to where they're just like that which is adorable, but um, I do want a little bit of their face. That's pretty cute. All right, cool. So I'm just gonna sketch some things and try to figure out what the pose is gonna look like. Um, so my goal is to make my own pose, my own composition, um, maybe put some background on them. Uh, but of course I don't have my own references, so I am going to have to be um, getting some reference from the internet. Now, I really like how some of them have you look at this one this one has 
all of this fur coming out. I think that's super cute. So I do want to show some fur, but I think I'm going to have a pose that's more like this, if that makes sense. Can you see what I'm showing here? Hey. Or we do a little facts. Right, so I've got this little guy. The only species that can roll into a ball for protection. Super cute. Um, my sibling, Misha, did a really cute version of an illustration of these, but Misha does more of like a cartoony sort of style. Um, so that was used for Arthur had his first birthday party and um, they printed up little decorations and favors that had Misha's drawing on them. Oh, look at that little baby. He's so cute. Hi, Dan. We are researching Brazilian three-banded armadillos. And then I am going to do some preliminary sketching. And probably that's about all I'm going to do on this stream is just the, the very rough sketches. Um, okay, so I do want something like that. This one's almost perfect. So, uh, yeah, something like this guy. Let's copy this photo. So, um, and while I'm doing this, uh, so again, this is a, uh, painting that I'm doing for my sister um, and usually I would prefer to have my own references but you know you run into these cases where it's just not feasible um, where I don't have a Brazilian three-banded armadillo on my desk Um, and I can't go to a zoo even to get my own references, so I am going to have to use some, oh my goodness, that is perfect. Okay, so if I take that image, something like that one, oh that's perfect, what? No. Oh, I see. That's what it's doing. Uh-huh. Okay. Can I? Okay, well, that's a new defense mechanism. All right, uh, we'll just, I guess, um, what was the magic key combination to to take pictures here? Nope, not that. Nope, okay. Um, what the, okay. Maybe I can find a different, so this is real cute where he's facing the camera. Mm. A holiday armadillo. I'm not sure what a holiday armadillo is. They are Brazilian three-banded armadillos. Photos. Isn't that absurdly cute? Oh my goodness. Oh my word.
The Holiday Armadillo, Santa's Helper. I feel like there's a reference here that I do not understand. Friends, oh, okay. I didn't have a TV growing up, so um, kind of missed that. <laughs> Come on, where is it? Do, 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 do. You're so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my word. They're just adorable. Just the most adorable things. Okay. All right. So then we can just add to the rest. Okay. So then if I go to my photos, uh, 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 which are somewhere, you can tell I really use this so much. Okay, and then I'm going to sketch a bunch of different, slightly different poses, um, and this is just going to be really rough sketches um, over here in my, this is just like a regular paper sketchbook, I don't, yeah, um, and if I turn that around a little bit, put this here. Then I can do all my sketching. I wonder what their environment is like. So I love the little, the little hairs coming out here. Um, 
definitely want to incorporate that. And I want it to be as ball shaped as possible. Because um, they're the only animal that can do this, so I really want to show that off. Um, so without being completely closed, I do want it to really show, you know, no, they, they really curl up into a ball, a proper little ball. And then I think I'm going to use ink and watercolor for this painting. Um, sorry, I want to pen that I'd set aside to fill up. Give me a moment. So I got some yellow and orange inks, or yellow and, I guess, brown? Yeah, yellow and brown. Um, so this one's called Carmen. It's Sketch Ink by um, Rohrer and Klinger. So it says Pigment Ink. Um, it's supposed to be light fast. I haven't tested it, but I'm just going to trust, given that there are other inks from this line do seem to be light fast, that this should be all right. Um, but I really want to um, okay. so then come on. We're gonna draw. So I'm hopeful that I can do the texture on the different um, scales with this because it's got like these really interesting textured scales and so I'm hopeful that I can use this ink as well as yeah like, I bet this will work really well. And then I also have, of course, a brown ink. So then I will use the brown ink as well. Um, this is Documentus Artist Brown. And I will use that as well to, to create that texture. Um, and I'll use that with watercolor, but obviously this isn't watercolor paper. So, I'll add the watercolor later. And then, yeah. Um, or, I'm sorry, then I'll, I'll, I'll do the, what I meant was to say was that I'll do the watercolor uh, part on, on my final painting. So I, yeah, I think that it's going to be something like this. Oh, I really like, yeah, okay. I really like that more side view, like, I think if I do that one. And then I'm going to use, um, some masking fluid to mask off these whiskers against the background. I think. So then I just need to know what their natural environment is like. Um, Oh, sweet. Uh, so in other news, I recently purchased some, some uh, art from other artists. So two things. 
well, actually a lot of things. So the first one is um, my favorite potter, um, June McDonald from Moon and June Pottery. If somebody who's a mod wants to add that. In fact, uh, Charles, are you still around? Why can't I make, oh, because I'm not, because I'm on Jordan's machine, sorry. Otherwise I could add Charles as a mod, mod and Charles could definitely find her. Um, uh, but I'm viewing my comments as Jordan right now. Um, so I can't moderate. Uh, sorry. So, um, one of my favorite local potters, um, she makes the most comfortable mugs. They're just, they are just the best. Um, let me see if I can find one of her mugs. Mm. I was hoping she'd have already dropped them off. All right, well, that was a strikeout. Um, the mug's downstairs. This mug is by a different potter, also local. Um, but, oh, I was trying to add you. Yes, that's the one. Thanks, Dan. I was going to add you as a mod, Charles, so that you could um, post June's website. But uh, Dan just did. So... Um, so we're good. Um, I just bought a bunch of mugs from her, um, which was really lovely. She showed me videos of all the mugs and compared the handle designs and the, the, uh, the mug shapes. I really like, this is actually a more extreme example, but I really like very flat bottom mugs that tilt in slightly, um, you can see the side of this one, um, so that I don't dip my brush into my mug and so that they don't tip over while I'm working. So I have, have six bowls and two mugs from June. Yeah, I just bought seven mugs from June. You want plates now? Uh, talk to her. She's got this gigantic stockpile and she was going to make... Uh, like an online sale thing, but it's just a ton of work. So if you talk to her, she'll give you great discounts. So I got really, I ended up getting seven mugs for the price of about four or less. Um, yeah. And I absolutely don't need seven mugs. Um, but she wanted to get rid of one of the designs. <laughs> and I really liked it. And I was hoping that she was going to drop them off on her way to the studio, um, to like the pottery, Potter Guild, Potter's Guild. Um, but she hasn't stopped by yet. Um, I wanted to share them on the live stream. There are only two of you. Well, right, so I want to replace all of our mugs like as they break i'm not gonna throw out mugs but as they break i am looking forward to replacing all of my mugs with june's mugs because they're just so comfortable so um you know not to slam another potter uh this is another wonderful local potter and I think this mug looks really cool but the thing is to hold it like this handle isn't the most comfortable and the really really nice thing about June's pottery is that it just it's just super duper comfortable so I'd been letting mugs break and Figured I had enough room in our mug shelf to fit up to four mugs. I was going to buy three. And then 
June kept on selling me on seconds. Like, oh no, I'm just trying to get rid of these. So, you know, we'll just take them. <laughs> I'll sell you two for $16. Um, so I got a bunch of different mugs and uh, maybe I'll, I'll give some away or something. Um, but they're really, really excited about those. Um, so that's my first art purchase of the week. And then I also just earlier today, part of the reason why I'm late is I just, um, got some original artwork that I just bought from Jared Cullum, who is a gouache artist and sketcher. Um, and I just bought his, oh, a sketch that he did of an allosaurus in a museum. It's absolutely lovely. Um, he's got a video of it. Uh... <laughs> I just remembered River broke a bowl recently. I could lend you a baby to break your mugs. I mean, actually, like... I've heard worse ideas. <laughs> we could we could borrow a river sometime. Like obviously we still have some safety concerns with COVID and stuff, but like as soon as we can all be reasonably safe, we're all eligible for vaccines coming up soon. So <laughs> As soon as we can get all vaccinated, I would be happy to borrow River sometimes. <laughs> and not just for the mud breaking services. Yeah, I was going to get like three mugs and I ended up with seven. It's a little bit absurd. I mean, I will probably give some of them away, um, but the ones that, that June really wanted to get rid of are, I couldn't resist. What they are is she put a bunch of different colored slips. Um, so in pottery, they use like this watered down um, clay to uh, like color and texture the, the base object. And so she mixed a whole bunch of different colors and did like a, you know, th think of like an acrylic fluid pour. Um, but she was upset that it kind of just looked like muddy water. Like it, you know, there were some swirls of different colors in it, but it just, it mostly came out gray. And I just couldn't resist given that my whole thing is studio mugs and not dipping my brush into my paint water that this just seemed like like such a paint water mug like <laughs> anyway yeah so uh bye yeah, okay, so if I just draw that, and then that one can go in here. Oh, yeah. Now we're talking. So that's been my uh, my art purchases recently. Um, I was trying to do a low buy year and I kind of um, failed at that in other respects, but one of the things that I definitely was still planning on buying and I'm really happy about was, you know, supporting supporting the arts and supporting artists and getting some some cool handmade things. Um, so I'm really, really pleased, even though um, I totally agree that uh, nobody needs this many mugs. 
there's like that's as many mugs I'm sure as we have in the house like it's a little absurd we'd had a few break but like uh, you know mugs break every so often but that should set me up for years I can take one to the I guess I can take one to the studio or two or like half of them because I just use the same like the basically use the same two mugs over and over and over again so I don't know why we would need more but whatever so it's just life maybe I'll give one to my sister <laughs> You said you wouldn't buy anything this year. It's April. I said low buy, not no buy, low buy. Um, and I specifically had exceptions for things like uh, mugs from June. That was actually very explicitly on the list. Now I meant to buy three, not seven, um, but I'm not, like I've been, reasonably okay about art supplies and housewares and whatever. I've bought too much garden stuff for sure. Yeah, I haven't been, have not been super great about low buy, uh, but it was low buy, not no buy, and but I've been, you know, it's been mixed. I'm teasing you, but I've got to go to the studio and work too. COVID hugs. Yes. Okay. Um, enjoy the studio. We had a great day at work. Am I still practicing casein? Yes. Um, Actually, one of the other things that I am going to do, if you look at my um, Instagram, I've got a gouache painting that I did for my gouache course, um, and I want to do one of the flowers in black and white casein, um, sort of practicing the same concept but uh like i feel like casein and gouache are sort of complementing each other where uh gouache re-wets more easily so casein can be more layered so it you know just, they go together yeah Bye, Charles. I miss you so much. Like, you have no idea how much I miss, like, hanging out in the studio. So much. So much. Anyway, as soon as we can get vaccinated, which should be soon. That was another thing that I did this morning, was trying to look up vaccines. So according to some little thing, some little footnote in the Waterloo region documentation, you can now register for vaccines. Actually, Charles, this might apply to you too. You could actually register for vaccines if you are over 18 and live in the Victoria Hills 
neighborhood, uh, like Victoria Hills and Cherry Park, there's like a a big, big like central Kitchener neighborhood. Um, you know, like all of the basically the hot spots locally. Um, so we're in it. Charles, you would be in it too. Um, but uh, yeah, um, then you're eligible for vaccination. Um, like you don't need to be any other priority group. And that is great, except that when you go to register, you have to register through the pre-registration thing and they haven't updated it to include that category. So that was frustrating. And also because I'm going to my sister's, it seems unlikely that I would get an appointment before I leave. Um, and by the time I get back, hopefully they'll have sorted things out so that I can actually register on the website. But anyway, that was my frustration for the day. I want grocery, beer store, and so on and so on to be vaxxed before me, so I'm laying pretty low for now. I mean, that's totally reasonable, too. I just, um, we have been, and we kind of felt like that. So my sister-in-law works at one of the COVID clinics, um, and so she sent us a message this morning saying we, we can register, and... The thing is, there was just this whole confusion because she said you can register. Well, technically it's 45 plus, but lots of younger people have started registering and, you know, we're, we are giving them vaccines. So just register for this location where I live, that's where I work, that's down the street. And we thought, well, we'll wait until we're like actually legally allowed to, but then we looked up on the regions, you know, it didn't seem like we were actually in one of the high risk neighborhoods, etc. And then we realized that there's like a footnote, this is also poorly organized, like it's not centralized at all. Mm -hmm. I'm sick of golf way back when we were still allowed to play. Yeah, I mean, I think golf is still like, it was allowed, then unallowed, then allowed again, then I think it's currently allowed. Gosh, I don't know. Oh, this is super weird. Uh, but yes, I agree that people in retail should be vaccinated. Um, it seems to me like the this is more dictated by like vaccine availability and how many people are signed signing up for a spot so i'm not really trying to skip my spot in line um oh okay years back yeah right um but uh you know we are we don't qualify as high risk um but but I have um, autoimmune issues. Jordan is immunocompromised, but not in one of the severe ways that they list. Like it's like, oh, if you have if you have cancer or um, so you know we we didn't try to you know, play the system before and and register before before our turn, I guess. Um, but 
the truth is we've been quite isolated, like more than the than the provincial guidelines for for the full year. Um, and I worry because then I do occasionally do things like, well, I'm planning this trip to my sister's and, you know, yeah, some of that is, well, it's necessary. Like, you know, I'll, I'll, although I don't, I'm not an essential worker. I work from home um, in this particular instance, like taking care of a toddler because his mother is a public health nurse. Um, is in fact essential work so that's that anyway here i'm just sort of sketching these little guys based on a few of the photos, just trying to get a feel for them. Um, but uh, yeah, so this will be all in shadow over here. Let's what did they mess up? Also, question for you Did you get a personalized email from the um, Wallach's owner, because I did, and it was like surprisingly nice. But also a little concerning, like, well, why are you doing this? Is your business this pressed or? Still don't want 60 mils of black gouache. Uh, so did they just send you the larger size? They may have been out of the smaller size, like that happens. But also gouache, you do go through white and black more than you would through colors. My stream is so pixelated, restarting it. Yeah, sorry. I don't... You can presumably change the settings. 
like there's uh, the three little dots in your, I tried twice to enter white. I wonder if their software defaulted. Oh, like you, um, they didn't have titanium white in stock when I bought. They did have zinc white though. And they did send it to me. If you don't have white gouache, I have two tubes, two 60 mil tubes of zinc white now. So I can get you some, like, if you just need white gouache to get going, um, I'm happy to share. <laughs> Seven. 20p looks like 144p. Uh, okay. Um, is it just a focus issue maybe? I don't know. My, I'm just like, I'm watching the chat on this teeny tiny little window. So I don't, must be on my side, don't worry. I just, I'm, okay, so my concern is that my internet has been, like, we buy the best internet that you can get locally, more or less, um, and it is not great. Um, which is just, you know, it's a frustrating thing, it's just... I wonder if, okay, I'm just going to try something. Um, okay, sorry. Hopefully this is better now. Um, so, okay. Uh, so here's part of what's going on. My internet has been spotty. It is fast, but spotty. Um, so when it goes down, I switch to um, my data because I have a great data plan. Unfortunately, streaming on data does chew up even an extensive data plan. Um, and because I've done that a couple times this month, my data is now slower. So where it defaulted to data, where it fell back to data, it was rate limited. Um, so I just forced it to stay on the home network. And hopefully that'll work okay. and we should be able to get somewhat better resolution here now. Okay, good, thanks. And thanks for pointing it out. Let's get one of his little, what if I have him looking more, even more to the side. Uh, let's try to get his little face.
I will take that as the highest form of compliment. Using gouache is certainly different. If you come in too thin, it kind of vanishes. It will take some time. Yeah.
nope it is definitely on my end it is definitely my internet that's really bad and we don't know how to fix it because we already paid for the best that's available locally mm -hmm. and it is in fact very fast it just also is extremely spotty mm -hmm. yep and i don't yeah i don't know what to do about it really um we've looked into like uh is our router making things worse is our router interacting poorly with something I don't, yeah, I don't know, I don't, Because yeah. I feel like I've experienced more reliable internet locally, um, but we are, you know, paying for the top tier, so I don't know. Okay. And then, if I take uh, back to my Google search and find some of them walking around. Um, then I can do a little bit more in the way of... Uh, like anatomy studies, trying to understand like how their body folds up, I guess. Um, and then maybe figure out what I'm doing for the background. Do you guys have ideas about what I should do for the background? So because they've got these little hairs that sometimes hang out the side of the ball when they roll up, I want to make sure that I have these little hairs. I want them to show. Now they're very light, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, masking fluid to draw the edges of them and then paint a background. Um, and that's also how I'm going to do some of the texture is with copious use of mas masking fluid, which I dislike masking fluid, but you know, it has its purposes. Um, do you have thoughts on what I should do for the background for these guys? These guys, I'm just going to paint one, I think. So another thing about uh, gouache was um, for the gouache course that I'm taking, uh, the, so I'm taking a gouache course with uh, Justin Donaldson and 
you know, he suggested, well, if you're worried about gouache drying, you can use a Stay Wet palette, but, um, you know, I just use a regular palette and I just throw water on my gouache before use, and if you just let it sit there, it will rehydrate. Um, so I did that, and he's absolutely right. So it doesn't stop it from cracking out of the pan, um, although M. Graham gouache does less of that, but if you just use it frequently enough um, to keep it from cracking, like cracking's the real issue. It doesn't, it doesn't actually have a problem rehydrating if you just throw a lot of water on it. Um, it's still nice to have white in a tube, but actually I have I am completely convinced that I can completely rehydrate gouache after, like I let it sit out for two weeks and then rehydrated it and it was absolutely fine. Um, you just need, like, it's not like watercolor where you just like tap some water on it and it's ready to go. You kind of have to like wait for a little while and then work it a bit, but it, uh, it does rehydrate quite thoroughly. And in some ways, I prefer to work from that than from the tube consistency, which varies a lot. Okay, so then... Let's take a look at this guy. Right. So when they are just walking around, here, pull this up. Okay. Hi. On Jordan's account. Back, but we're at some probably low quality um so i yeah i imagine that probably you're getting some like really bad video quality right now um and i think yeah because what i had to do was switch to hi lauren love you miss you um yeah, I had to switch to data to get get this stream going again um, because my much better home internet is so spotty. So um, that's clearly a problem that I need to deal with, uh, but there's really no point in keeping you all here. Hey, uh, hi, Alex. Anyway, uh, 720 isn't bad. Is everyone else getting 720 or are we back down to like 144p or some nonsense? Like what is everyone's video quality like? Because if your video quality is all right, then I can keep going. But I thought this was what yours is on 144. Yeah. Um, so I think my data is now throttling my upload. Yeah, so what's happening is my data is throttling my upload because I've used too much data from streaming on data when my home internet is spotty. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, that's my own doing for doing like a four hour stream on data the other week. Um, my, my, my data quality, like my data plan is good, but not that good. Um, but uh, so I think that unfortunately, I just have to deal with these tech issues. And that's probably the end of today's stream. Um, so, you know, last week was a ridiculously long stream. And today is just a little bit short. Um, but that's just gonna have to be it because we can't have a stream where it just dies every few minutes. So if everyone 
wants to move on over to Discord. That's not really how it works. Um, if I could buy my way out of this problem, I would have already. And if I figure out a way to buy myself out of this problem, I will. Um, see you. Ciao. Ciao. Okay, bye everyone.